Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So Pisces, let us see what is happening for you. Pisces, what is happening for you? All right, give us three cards, Spirit. Let's do this a little different. Oh, let's do this. Getting my hair here. Let's do it a little. Oh, okay, that's what we needed. Thank you. Bottom of the deck. Strength. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. And Three of Pentacles. Pisces, the message here is, Pisces, that you are climbing the ladder, the financial ladder, okay? You are here making strides right you are putting in work that could sometimes leave you a little fatigued and, and and a little wounded sometimes right but you are building pisces you are you know building towards seeing the fruits of your labor here okay the three of pentacles and you're seeing um you're you're getting some rewards from that right now pisces maybe you could feel a little uh wounded in regards to love Okay, or you've been putting in a lot of work here, but it's paying off. And I feel here like you need to have the strength to continue to stay diligent with the situation here. I do feel like Libra season has been good for you, Pisces, right? It's been able to balance out the scales and bring more balance into your life, which has allowed you to maybe reap some success, right? The turtle keeps coming to mind, which came up in your reading before but the turtle navigates both land and water so i feel like you're doing a, a good job of that right now let me take a sip of my celery juice pisces tastes so good because i add lemon i'm actually cheating i should drink this mm. All right, let's see here. Let's let's dig a little bit further. What is this Nine of Wands? And I also feel like that Nine of Wands just came to me. It could be another person. That right now, while you are feeling more peaceful, your mind is more calm, you're receiving the fruits of your labor here, they're kind of looking at you, and they're a little fatigued and wounded at this time. What is this Nine of Wands? Ace of Cups, which fell on top of the Nine of, of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. So I feel here like this person, I am seeing this, feeling this as an external energy now. There's a person that actually has a lot of emotion for you and they're, and they're, you know, right now it's even being more highlighted, right? That emotion for you and they want to build with you. They want to build with you. Let's get, let's get more, um... And also, if it's if it's internal energy as well, Pisces, right now it, it is a time where you are basically getting revamped your creativity. It's it's a time where you're filling your own cup, and, and maybe um, sometimes these transformations don't feel as pretty. But I'm very much feeling this is ex an external energy. Very much feeling that. All right, let's see what else. What else on this Nine of Wands and this Ace of Cups before we move forward to the Nine of Pentacles? <laughs> justice and this kind of came in the reverse again during this libra season okay justice has come in the, the balances are more leveled right this person that was probably running away from you or not acting right okay they're feeling the 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 aftermath of that right and now you pisces are in a more calm state maybe maybe you're let you know more detached from this person uh, than usual, right? Um, in the pre-reading that I did uh, here by myself, the emperor came out for you. So very much getting structure back into your life. Again, getting a lot of accolades. Things might be going very well for you, Pisces, in regards to the finances. And again, you're very focused on yourself and f feeling good because you're reaping those rewards from your hard work. And this person, again, is watching you and they have a lot of emotion for you and they're feeling a little wounded and, you know... All right, let's move up. Let's let's move on to this nine of pentacles, which is you, and then we'll see how this plays in together. Nine of pentacles. What is this nine of pentacles for Pisces? What is this nine of pentacles for Pisces? What is this? Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So the first card that popped out, and, and I like to show you how they are because I feel like the placement is obviously significant, okay? So we had the Page of Swords in the reverse, and then later after um, the Four of Swords popped out, then later the Ace of Pentacles popped out on top of this uh, Page of Swords, then we also have the Two of Swords. So what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is you are taking like a rest period for yourself. Right now you're taking a... a, a, a some time to restore, some time to relax. You could notice that maybe you're, you're, you know, you're more relaxed during this time. And I feel like you're a little bit confused about an opportunity or maybe, you know, um, you're indecisive about something. Again, maybe you're looking at something, an external situation right now. Um, you know, you're feeling possibly scattered mind about it or, or not clear. Again, there's this there's this opportunity or maybe some offer from someone that you're looking to tor uh, turn down again. It, you know, you're indecisive about it. And again, maybe it might not be an offer, but again, this energy, maybe you feel your person right now. You haven't had much communication, but you feel them, that you feel like you're in more power right now, okay? Not that there's power over another, but... The energies right now. I'm also seeing, Pisces, that in some aspect of your life, yes, you're doing well, but also in, in some aspect where you're scattered mind, there's could be some missed opportunity because you're not decisive, okay? So it's important to sometimes be decisive. But right now, again, you're taking a resting period and you're trying to get clear about some things. And one of the things you could be trying to get clear about is this person, okay? Maybe you're not clear because right now, again, you're very in your power and you're seeing that maybe they're just toxic, right? You're having a lot of a lot of mental thoughts about this person. Maybe right now you're closing down this Ace of Pentacles, this opportunity. You're kind of like, because your energy, right? Not that that's a bad thing at all. <laughs> so... Moving forward, Three of Pentacles. What is this Three of Pentacles? So I believe, Pisces, that you're building towards your foundation here. You're collaborating with people at work, okay? Again, a time where work could be going well for you. And I do feel like this person wants to kind of build with you as well. The Tower and the Six of Swords. Ooh, I thought that was the Seven of Swords for a second. Six of Swords in the reverse. The Tower and the Six of Swords in the reverse. So I feel that you, this person, or maybe both of you, okay, could be avoiding. So right now there isn't any building going on with Six of Swords because people maybe are not able to transition from something again, Pisces. Maybe you, you know, have very actively on your mind how this person is just toxic, da da da, and you're not moving on from that right now again. Maybe this person is in avoidance. I do feel like there, you know, there is an avoidance trying to avoid transition and working together in some aspect so Pisces I would just you know it's also interesting because in the prior uh, reading that I did a pre shuffle the openness card popped out in the reverse you're right now in your power okay we got the Emperor for you, Nine of Pentacles. You're in your power here. You can probably feel that you're like bringing more structure back into your life, a little bit more clarity, okay? Getting things done. Um, you know, be careful, right? Because just how justice is hitting this person right now and you're feeling this way, the tables do turn as well yearly, right? I mean, it, this is a cycle. But however, point being in general, there's just an avoidance of coming together and collaborating with this person. But I do feel like you, again, are very focused on the financial. You're building for yourself. Let's, let's get some more. Hmm? What is this nine of wands? What is this nine of wands? Who is this nine of wands? Who is this nine of wands? Yeah, I also feel, Pisces, that you are throwing your energy and... Um, and also, you are um, you're refocusing your energy, right? If, if this person, this nine of wands, that's on the other end is a romantic situation, you're refocusing your energy into building with other people, okay? 
And, and that's maybe how you're avoiding this person right now because you're throwing yourself into work and not really giving it, you know, time and energy. Anyhow, what popped out for this Nine of Wands is opportunity. Maybe this person now wants an opportunity. Also, there's an opportunity for some sort of coming together because they're in a more vulnerable state, right? With the Nine of Wands and this Ace of Cups, it's like they're feeling all this raw emotion right now, okay? Justice is hitting the situation. <clears throat> Let's see here. What is this? One more for this Nine of Wands. One more for this Nine of Wands. One more for this Nine of Wands. One more. Who is this Nine of Wands? Who is this Nine of Wands? It will pass. Toxic person in my environment. So maybe this Nine of Wands, this person has some toxic people in their environment. Okay, and they don't yet feel prepared or maybe that's draining their energy. Um, however, there's an opportunity, right? Some, sometimes when there's a, a, a moment of chaos, it's an opportunity to transcend that situation and learn a lesson. So this, this will pass. This will pass for this person, okay? Again, how the cycles turn. So let's see, what is this Nine of Pentacles? What is this uh, energy for you, Pisces? Energy. Energy for Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles for Pisces? What is this Nine of Pentacles for Pisces? What is this Nine of Pentacles for Pisces? Or who? What is this? Wait. So Pisces, maybe you're waiting right now. Maybe you've decided, listen, I'm not making the next move. This person has to. So you're sitting around waiting and you're content. Wish you'd call or text me first, but you're wishing maybe they'd call or text you first, right? You're waiting. Quite, quite literally and you're cautious you're being cautious of yourself and your feelings at this time maybe you're holding back right let's see here what is this at the bottom of the deck fresh start <clears throat> what is this three of pentacles what is this three of pentacles so there's an opportunity here I'm seeing for you and someone to build, to work together. But there's literally the biggest avoidance, the tower in the reverse and the six of swords in the reverse. And it's like, you know, you're cautious and you want them to, to uh, call and text you first and, and reach out first. And like they're in this vulnerable state right now. What is this three of pentacles? So there's an opportunity. Like you could get to them quicker. They're watching you. They're watching you. Let go to receive. Yes, Pisces, that's what you're doing right now. You're letting go to receive and bring your A game. And I feel like you're focusing on yourself, Pisces. You know, this person is watching you. This person is observing you for sure, okay? And you're basically showing them, Pisces, that you don't need them, okay? You are letting them go. You, you've you kind of detached, focusing on yourself again. You're waiting. Let go to receive. And you are working on yourself, Pisces. You are working on your uh, career endeavors, your work endeavors. You're leveling up new opportunities. And this person is watching this. And you are becoming, you know, you're like really alluring to them, right? And at the bottom of the deck, you're on the right path, Pisces, right? This is... This is you putting yourself first, right, Pisces? You putting this on the back burner right now is allowing new opportunities to come in for you, okay? While this person kind of has to put their big boy or big girl pants on, okay, and deal with their stuff because you're not paying attention or, or like catering to that, right? And, you know, you your self-love, Pisces, and you're on the right path, you're getting closer towards your purpose, right? You're becoming in alignment. Like, really look at yourself and, and, and acknowledge how much you've grown and how much you've gotten better. So let's see. I just want to get in general. I just want to get in general here. Pisces. And then we'll get one oracle and we'll wrap this up, Pisces. We have two. This week, amused. <sighs> Pisces, this week you could be amused about something. I don't know. 
we're gonna leave that there. Let's see. What can you tell us? What can you tell us about this situation here, Spirit Angels and Guides? What can you tell us about this situation? What can you tell us about this situation? Okay. Inner peace, purification. And this kind of fell on top of your, your person and kind of on you. I'm not going to pin it to a particular person. You or this person, or maybe both of you, are going through a purification, right? And you're allowing more inner peace to come in. And, and you're the fishy. So I, I almost feel like it's even more this particular message for this person that has this nine of wands, okay? That is wounded, right? And they don't have inner peace right now. They need to let this purification happen, okay? They're resisting. They're resisting working and coming together with you and, and, and you know, and simplicity and freedom. And they were in the reverse. So I feel like this Pisces, again, you're on the right path of you focusing on you and leveling up. Okay, staying at your level. It's never a good idea to come down to someone's level. So you're staying at your level and this person is doing their work, you know, at whatever level they're doing it, right? Because everyone has, we have uh, different speeds of how we integrate the stuff, right? You can resist for years or you can just, you know, surrender and, and do it. So you're doing your work, Pisces, and this person is having to do theirs and level up to you, okay? And it's going to be good for them because it's actually helping them align and purify some of that stuff and set themselves free from their toxic environment. I feel like this person has to set themselves free from maybe like a person, parents, whatever, from a toxic environment. They need to simplify their life or maybe a situation they don't want to be in, a job, whatever. Like they need to really come into alignment with what it is and maybe they've been, you know, putting you off. But Pisces, again, I kind of like this reading for you, right? Very empowered. So... Um, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.